Ciao, today I'm here with a new video and I am sorry about the window but I need to have it open because it's so freaking hot. Today I am here with a throwback video and I am going to do a throwback of a video I did in October I think that was called 10 things I would have bought if I wasn't on a low buy. Part 2. <laughs> I hope it was correct. I did a throwback to the first part. I can leave that up here. And now I want to do to the second part. So I talked about 10 things I would have bought if I wasn't on a low buy and I have actually bought 5 of these things. So I am going to pop up pictures here. And I think we just should go. Maybe I need to close the window but... Okay, first up is a product from Milk and it's the Hydro Grip Primer and people have raved about this like crazy. I really want it and I got it. I have the little mini size. I bought like a little sample kit from Milk with different things and I actually haven't used this yet. I think I bought that in, was it December maybe? I can't remember. I haven't used it yet and I have heard so many mixed reviews of this but it is a mini size so even if I don't like it I mean I can use this up. So yeah I like forget about this because it has come down in my drawer like in the bottom of the drawer so I don't see it but okay I maybe should just put it on my table so I know where it is. The next product also something from Milk and it was the Flex Concealer and I have heard good things about it and I bought it. I like it but not that much. I think it's good but I think it's pretty like thick. I have noticed that I am like very picky with my concealers. Um, I still think it's good. It's not worth the money for me, but I still use it and yeah, it's okay. Wouldn't I will not buy it again, but I think it's good. And I think that talked about two eyeshadow, prim eyeshadow primers, eyeshadow palettes. And one of them was the Warrior 3 by Uvious Place. And if you have watched my channel for a little while, you know that I bought it and I am not super like thrilled about this I think the formula in this one reminds me a little bit of the Doucet palette with which is not my favorite at all from US Place the palette looks like this I can leave my first impression up here I wasn't super thrilled in that video I am going to use this much more sometimes I haven't used it anymore right now but I'm going to I I like the colors really much, but the formula isn't like super there for me and yeah, we will see. I at least bought it. And now I'm going to talk about free foundation. One is the Yves Place Stick Foundation. And I really, 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 really wanted that. Now I don't want it because it's full coverage. I actually bought another stick foundation like a couple of weeks ago, the Milk Flex. Flex foundation stick. But the Yves Place, I I think I come to realize it's too like thick full coverage foundation for me. I don't I don't like that, so I'm not going to buy it. Then I also talked about the naked skin foundation from Urban Decay. I still want this. I think, but like the urge to buy it isn't there anymore. I have friends here on YouTube that love that foundation so so much, but it is like a foundation that I want to swatch and feel a little bit more before I buy it, because in Sweden you can't return makeup, so if you buy a foundation you have to deal with it. Sometimes you can sell it but or give it away. Um, but yeah, I want to feel it and I want to swatch it a little bit because the colors, for me it's pretty hard to buy foundations like online because I am super, 
ho tail. But yeah, and my kicks doesn't have Urban Decay foundations. So I have to go to another city. But yeah, I still want it, but it's nothing like a crave. Maybe if it is on sale or something, I will buy it, but I don't know. But the next foundation is the Luminous Foundation from Anastasia. I was this close to buy it because uh, I had 20% off and then it was 30% off on Anastasia and then my color wasn't in stock. And my Kix stores where I live, I I think I need the lightest color and they don't have it so I have to order it but I feel like the texture and everything it feels good now I have <laughs> pretty many other foundations so I don't know when I will buy it but I think I will buy it eventually not right now though but I will buy it then the other eyeshadow palette that I talked about was the moon spell from lunar beauty and I guess you all know that I bought it and I just watched my video from October now and I was like it's missing something but I think Jessica ordered this first and she sent me a picture on it and I was like okay I need it it looks like this I really like it I have done of course I've done first impression and also palette bingo that maybe didn't go as planned. But yeah, I really like this palette. I think it's so nice and I still, this is still my like favorite package of all times of palette. And how can it be cat hair in here? I don't know. So yeah, I really, really, really like this palette. Then I also talked about two highlighters. One was Fenty Diamond Bomb. Two? Fenty Diamond. I don't know. I haven't bought it. I don't know if it's available anymore. I, I don't want it anymore. I have other highlighters that I really love. And I... Like, I want to buy things from Fenty, but it's not like I don't know what to buy. I have a lipstick that I have, like, used two times, but I have two lipsticks. I have one bullet and one liquid. I hate the wand on the liquid one. I am not that, like, I don't know. I'm not that hyped about Fenty. And the other highlighter, I don't think this is available anymore. It's the Amrisi from uh, Anastasia. I... No. I think me and Amrisi is over. It was that highlighter that, you know, like, you can't stop thinking about. I have swatched it so many times in store, but I haven't bought it. And then it was sold out and was not coming back. And I was like, dang it, I want it. And then it came back and I was like, okay, I really want it. Swatched it and I was like, no. But it's like, I forget. <laughs> when she's not there, I really want her. When she's here, I don't care. So, no, I'm Reese for me. And now I don't think it's available anymore. And I hope that it will never be because you can't, like, it's a limited edition take it back it's a limited edition take it no Emrisi and me we are over and then the last thing and of course it is the Sophia Nygaard and Colourpop Colourpop and Sophia Nygaard lipstick set and you know me I bought them all I bought the whole set I love these I have done a swatch video I can leave it up here one I, of course, la la <laughs> love the red one, but I also really, really like Berry Me lipstick. It's the dark a pink one. I actually use this pretty much for being like a pinkish berry. I don't like that else, but yeah, this one. And I just want to show you Fred. It's a dark, dark red. And one thing I really love about those 
is it's bats on it really love it so i bought these i love these so happy that i have these i actually don't know if these are going to be at ColourPop because if i look right now they are on the website they are sold out but the kit is there so i don't know if it's going to be a thing or not and yeah that was all the 10 things i bought half of them i think in the first part i bought three of them i wonder if i bought any more I actually don't know but I really hope you like this video I like to do these but now I only did two parts and I still think about if I'm going to do like makeup releases videos but I don't know I don't know if that's fun maybe I just talk about like a wish list video sometimes or things I really want but it's them going to buy or something like that I don't know maybe but yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!